In early 2022, it was reported that Natalie Portman had sold her architectural style home in Montecito, California for $8 million, which she and her husband purchased back in 2017. The steel and concrete abode's biggest highlight was the great room, which was a giant combined space boasting three side-by-side -side garage doors that rolled up to the ceiling to seamlessly blend indoors and outdoors. Natalie is still said to live in her main residence, a 1930s era home located in the gated Lawland Park enclave of Los Feliz, which she's owned since 2009. Natalie Portman is an Israeli-born American actress with an extensive career in acting and film spanning back to her teen years. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. She starred in a long list of blockbuster movies as well as independent films and she's received many accolades along the way, which include an Academy Award, two Golden Globe Awards and more. Natalie has also also established herself among the world's highest paid actresses and boasts a net worth estimated at $120 million. She's married to dancer and choreographer Benjamin Millipied and the couple has two children together. Natalie has long owned a home in the Los Feliz neighborhood of LA as well as a second home in Montecito, California, which she recently sold, but she and her husband have also been spotted house hunting in Australia. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're looking at where Natalie Portman calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In early 2022, it was reported that Natalie Portman and her husband had sold one of their homes in Montecito, California for $8 million. It was an off-market deal that actually took place at the end of 2021, and the all-cash buyer was tech entrepreneur David Colt. Natalie had bought the architectural house back in 2017 for $6.5 million, so the couple still made a profit from the sale. Located in Montecito, this wealthy city is loved by many celebrities and it's a much quieter option than LA. It's in Santa Barbara County, California on the central coast between the mountains and the Pacific Ocean. Natalie's former abode was built in 2008 to reflect mid-century modernism in its style and is totally blocky in shape, made with steel and concrete, not to mention walls of glass to showcase ocean views. The pad is a single level spanning just under 4,000 square feet of space but still boasts four bedrooms and five bathrooms throughout. The driveway leads up to the Barton Myers designed home through peaceful grounds featuring native plantings like oak trees and blue agave. The home is set in a cleared area but still shaded with tall trees and there's a sprawling concrete patio that leads down to the lawn and pool area. It's set far from the public road at the tail end of a quarter mile drive that's only shared with three other properties while Natalie's estate spans a whopping 10.4 acres alone. Aside from the breathtaking grounds, which we'll look at in more detail in just a moment, the other highlight of this home is certainly the central great room. This combined living space has soaring ceilings overhead and an extremely open layout, incorporating the living and dining rooms as well as the kitchen. And there are three side-by-side -side garage doors that roll right up into the ceiling to blend the indoors and outdoors seamlessly. I mean, if that's not the best way to take in the coastline views, I don't know what is. Sticking to the property's ultra-modern aesthetic, the great room boasts polished concrete floors that match nicely with the concrete outdoor patio, and nearby there's the industrial chic kitchen with bar-style seating. A cozier room nearby is the library and den which offers a fireplace as well as built-in bookshelves lining almost all of the walls. The master suite in the home flaunts views of the ocean, and if that's not your thing, the soaking tub and glass shower and the ensuite are completely visible from the bed too. The sprawling hillside lot has panoramic views that also overlook the east end of Montecito, which includes Ellen DeGeneres' former $33 million Bali-style compound nearby. As mentioned, there's a contemporary swimming pool with a twisted oak tree, providing shade and a waterfall feature, adding some style. In addition to the main back patio, Natalie's former crib also had concrete terraces off of either side of the structure, perfect to entertain big groups. One patio also offering a metal outdoor fireplace to keep you toasty on cooler nights. 
The property included dozens of mature palm trees and eucalyptus trees, as well as a bonus vegetable garden built into the hillside. And Natalie and her husband's main residence is still said to be the 1930s era home which the actress purchased back in 2009 for $3.25 million, located in the Los Feliz neighborhood of Los Angeles. More specifically, the couple's home is inside the gated and historic enclave of Lawland Park, an exclusive community between Los Feliz Boulevard and Franklin Avenue that's much loved by celebrities. Throughout the ages, stars including Cecile B. DeMille and W.C. Fields lived here, and in recent years, plenty of A-listers from Angelina Jolie to Kristen Stewart and many more. Natalie's home was built around 1930 and boasts a ton of detail and stunning craftsmanship, and it's situated on an 18,000 square foot lot of lush grounds. Since she's owned the home for some years now, there aren't many photos available online because she keeps things private, but from a few older snapshots of the place, we can see that inside it was full of old world charm and vintage millwork. Interiors offer a total of 4,866 square feet of space, along with four beds and two bathrooms, as well as the property also has two separate guest houses. Out front, a charming and private courtyard serves as the front entrance to the main foyer and once inside, you can see all of the wood details in the entryway as well as the main staircase. Many of the main rooms have soaring ceilings and rich wood paneling to match with the floors, including the fully wood clad great room with massive fireplace set into one wall and grand chandelier overhead. Other details we know about Natalie's mini estate include that there are leaded sanctuary style windows as well as leaded French doors that lead to a beautiful stone loggia. There were also arched doorways and fireplaces in some of the bedrooms to match the home's historic charm. Rooms including the kitchen and den appear to be outdated from the photos, so we can just assume Natalie and her family have had these spaces modernized. Out on the grounds, there's a large swimming pool set into the yard as well as romantic gardens surrounding the space. Prior to Natalie owning this home, it said plenty of other celebrities lived here, including Dermot Mulroney and his ex-wife Catherine Keener, and the late sax player Leroy Moore, who was also a former member of the Dave Matthews Band. In 2008, just before snagging her Los Feliz property, Natalie sold her sleek loft in Manhattan. This marked her move from the east to the west coast. Her former home was located in the New York City West Village neighborhood, and according to records, she had bought it back in 2005 for about five. $5.7 million or slightly more. When it came time to sell, Natalie got $6.5 million for the place, which was more than double what she would spend on her longtime Los Feliz residence. Anyways, this modern loft was in a Richard Meyer designed building and spanned 2,541 square feet of space with about two to three bedrooms and three bathrooms. The green glass towers are set on the West Side Highway in Lower Manhattan, and Natalie's one time apartment boasted views of the Hudson River and the park. Her loft occupied half of the fifth floor in the building, and as listing materials claim, the dining room could be used as a third bedroom if needed. All the glass walls and windows throughout added to the modern feel and would have also showcased some gorgeous city view sunsets. The interior also featured luxury finishes, a main living room, and a narrow terrace or balcony. The overall floor plan was probably the best part of the condo as it divided the space as well, and there was a fresh all white kitchen as well as a lush wood flooring underfoot. Despite enjoying the condo for a few years, Natalie ended up trading in the Manhattan lifestyle to settle down in LA. Not to mention, in 2021, it was also reported that Natalie and her husband were looking to purchase some real estate on the other side of the globe in Australia. The actress spent more time there when she was filming her role in the new Marvel movie Thor Love and Thunder. She and her husband toured a naturalistic home just outside of Sydney, which was a blue roofed brick, stone and wood made modern residence. However, it doesn't appear that they ended up making a move on it. I guess only time will tell if the couple buys a vacation home all the way out there. Okay guys, that's going to conclude our Natalie Portman house tour. After looking at the actress's wide variety of homes, past and present, which was your favorite? I think mine is her charming main home in Los Feliz. Well, from what we could see anyways. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.